What is going on YouTube? So I'm gonna give you guys another channel update and my newest purchase, which is this here 2009 Cadillac CTSV. This is a V2, and as most of you know, I had a V1 before, and this right here is just a different league entirely. As far as drive quality, power, looks, this thing's better. Um, I guess you can say the V1 is more, I guess, raw. It feels more like a sports car. This feels more like a Cadillac. You can feel the body roll. Even though this thing's lowered, you can still feel just a little bit in corners. But, I mean, you hit it straight away and you floor it. You don't really even give a shit, to be honest with you. This car is Raven Black. And it needs to be washed. I'm actually going to take it here in a minute to my buddy's house. And we're going to ceramic coat it. But I love the Raven Black. There's no metallic in it at all. It's just a flat black well not flat but just a pure black and once it shines up it looks like a mirror it's got the gray interior it's like a lot gray aftermarket wheels um, I'm gonna have to go up I'm gonna put the uh, mod list in the description because I I just bought the car and I don't really know what brand uh, I mean, what the wheels are. Uh, they're niche wheels. Niche, niche, whatever. I don't know how it's pronounced. But, uh, like I said in the description, I'll post what they are. Uh, this car has the reinforced brick Z01 Camaro lid, the AN lines. It's got a BMR intercooler box up here, but the O ring. And this lid right here is bad. As you can see, there's antifreeze leaking everywhere. I need to get a new one, but I haven't really uh, got to looking online to buy one. But that's literally the only thing I need to fix on this car. That and a little scratch in the back, which I'll show you guys in a second. But uh, this car has Cook's long tube headers. They have been wrapped. Uh, this dual catch can. It's a Cook's X-Pop all the way back with a cutouts I'll show you the cutouts and while I'm at it here's a scratch the dude's ex-wife keyed the car that's literally the only flaw in the paint which I'm getting that fixed soon but here are the cutouts down here and I'm not sure what these mufflers are but even with the cutouts closed they're still pretty loud you can kind of see the X pop but it's straight pop straight back from the headers back and I need some new tires. I got them on the way. I got some Ferro 595s on the way for 200 bucks. And I'm surprised that they're that cheap. His tires for my Mustang, and they're 18s. They're 295 45s. They were almost $500. I think I, I paid 480 for a set. And these are 285 30s. And they're 20s. But this car really does. It needs more tire. But. I mean, these are bought anyway, so the car gets squirrely. It's an automatic though, a 6L90. But I gave 22,000 for this car, it's a clean title. I really could not pass it up. This has always been one of my dream cars. So for the price, I can live with that automatic transmission. And plus the, the 6L90 is a beast of a transmission. This thing's been tuned for the, uh, uh, for specifically for tap tap, which is when you choose a gear manually then you slap it over to drive and slap it back to sport mode it uh it shifts really hard this car has been dynoed it's got a 255 pulley on it and uh, what else has been done to it like i said uh i'm gonna have to go through the the mod list and just post it in the description so you guys can see but it's putting down 580 horsepower to the wheels and 605 foot-pounds of torque so it moves pretty good it's faster than a Whipple Mustang it actually this car is in a different league I don't know if there's anything you guys can spot offhand that maybe I overlooked but as far as I know it's pretty much all that's been done to it you can kind of see the long tubes there Heat, AC, everything works. Uh, he's got, 
all these splitters on it here and he has them wrapped in carbon fiber the car has been murdered out everything's anything that was chrome is now blacked out i'm gonna replace these headlights i'm gonna get new housings and i'm gonna have the inside the chrome blacked out that will complete the murdered look because these tail lights are blacked out I really want to run a smoked license plate cover but in Tennessee they've been getting really strict about that they'll bust you for that the tent on this car would be sweet if it was a limo it's actually 35 percent which is the legal limit in Tennessee so I'm just going to leave it that way as far as uh dents and dings this car doesn't have a single it has one little tiny dent right here that my buddy noticed I don't know what happened there. They can't tell if it's like maybe a hell, like a rock or hell, or if someone tried breaking into it, or it's like right there above the uh, trim. But there's no dings whatsoever, other than that scratch, that'll be fixed. But overall, the car is super clean. I drive with the cutouts open, so I'll start it up and let you guys listen to it. It's got this gauge in it right here it's pretty cool it's got different settings in it you just push this button uh oh and the previous owner had this right here installed this is a bald eagle horn because of america yeah uh not sure what this is but it's up here with the well it's like i don't know if it went to a radar detector or what but it looks like it was supposed to plug into something up there. It's been hardwired into the, the mirror. So if anyone knows what that is, just holler at me. Um, it has 108,000 miles on it. And I've been in contact with every previous owner. I think I'm the fourth owner. And this car has just been kind of... The first owner, his name's Ron. I don't want to give out his last name for personal reasons and safety reasons. But uh, he's had all this work done to the car. He's the one that installed the uh, Z01 lid, catch cans, wheels, brake kit, the side splitters, the bald eagle horn, and the cutouts, and the gauge and the tune and all that stuff. This thing was tuned in uh, Jefferson City at Lethal Performance. It was dyno tune. And when he sold it, the next, the, the previous two owners before me left exactly the way he had it. They didn't change anything. They didn't go out and mod it. Uh, I don't even think they really even got on the car at all. They just used it as a cruiser. So, a funny story. This car, it popped up for sale two weeks ago for $25,000. And I was going to buy it then. But the guy, some guy came and bought it from underneath me, which is the guy I bought it from. He went and bought it. Then turns out he's getting deployed somewhere up north i can't remember what fort it was but he said there's like six to eight inches of snow up there and he needs a truck so he went and had this thing paint corrected all the swirl marks and everything buffed out of it and then posted it for twenty two thousand. so i bought this car three grand cheaper and he had it buffed and uh cut and polished and everything for me so i guess being patient for two weeks really paid off because i mean i got the car the same car i wanted even cheaper and paint corrected so it was a win-win and i mean there's other ctsvs out in the marketplace around twenty-five thousand that i was looking at but i really wanted this one just because it's murdered out i love the wheels and uh these brakes he's got the red pads in it right now they are just intergalactic <laughs> they are sweet but all the other v's i've been looking at had the stock wheels 
one of them you know it still had all the chrome but the wheels were plastic dip i just think it's a cheap look you know because plastic dip's like a flat black but this one's got the gloss wheels on it the fog lot bezels have been blacked out i mean anything that was chrome other than the headlights has been blacked out and looks sweet a mustang's jealous because this is my daily driver now and the most badass thing is at the end of the day you're in a cadillac so this thing's comfortable the uh, bow stereo system that's in it because i love audio i'm an audiophile and usually like i know my v1's bow system wasn't really that good and it had a little bit of bass but i have a aftermarket sound system in the mustang i have a 12 inch sub thousand watt amp all that good stuff and it hits pretty good this thing i mean it doesn't hit as hard as that obviously but the factory bow system in this car is actually pretty good good enough that i don't have to worry about having to worry about installing a custom or aftermarket audio system in it so uh yeah the audio is great the comfort is great i mean you can just drive it like a normal car and then uh if someone does roll up beside you it wants some fun man you just tap tap it which what that does is it tricks the computer like say uh someone gets up beside you you're doing 40 miles per hour and you downshift it manually all the way to second gear and then what you do while it's in second gear to get it where the pcm itself will start changing the gears for you that way you don't have to rely on hitting the paddle shifters you smack it to drive then you smack it back to sport mode and what that does it tricks the computer into shifting really hard but it locks it in that gear so say i had it in in second gear at 40 miles per hour i just tap tap it and then it's ready to go i just hammer it and don't worry about it and just look at whoever i'm racing the rearview mirror unless it's another ctsv it's built more than mine or i don't know some other sick cars that's out here but this one is almost at 600 wheel horsepower and it moves pretty good i haven't really raced anyone yet but i'm kind of curious to see how it will stand I know it will blister the Mustang. The Mustang's quick, but it's not exactly fast. This thing feels pretty fast. And I guess I'll quit the video here because we got a freaking mowing tractor coming. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, my new purchase. And hopefully there'll be more videos to come with it.